Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Grimrock. We are now in level 11, and things start to get a little bit tricky from now on. Uh, there's a lot of fighting in this level, so hopefully we'll be able to survive. Uh, we're going to pick up the first round key. We need to find two round keys. We're going to open this. Uh, we do have to defeat some of those flying insects as well uh, very soon. Let's go and grab the baked maggot. Uh, you can eat that. Yum. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, that's for the first round key. Uh, let's do this first of all. I think we're going to have to face a few uh, creatures. Once we open that. Oops, I did not mean to go back up the stairs. I went the wrong way. That's okay. Let's go and take out this lizard. There we go. He didn't, uh, didn't do too much damage after all. And uh, we've got some more tar beads, and we've also uncovered the, um, uh, the statue here, which is going to shoot uh, light particles uh, once we press a button over here, one of the buttons over here. Is that the one? That's the one there. Uh, we need to uncover the receptacle over on this side. Uh, first of all, let's just go and grab the second key. Um, so we can open that door, but we need to open the door uh, on the other side. So we're going to grab the red gem, place it over, oh, let's just uh, place the red gem there. Uh, now we're going to scroll of lightning bolt, we're never going to use that. Now let's go and open this door, pick up the second round key. I don't think there's anything else around here, I'm just going to have a quick look. Oh, let's open this gate. So many of them. So many of them. have a quick look to see where I am. Uh, there's the receptacle there for the other round key. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything down here because an alcove did open up. It doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, hang on a minute. This one has opened up as well. Uh, and inside we have the gauntlets of valor, which is heavy armor. I'm going to change the plate gauntlets. Give these to... No, he's got plate, ga plate gauntlets already. So let's give uh, Calburn the gauntlets of valor. Now, protection plus 15. He's got protection 69 now, which is pretty amazing. And I may... Oh, there's a little note here as well. Let's see what this one says. I have come to the realization that you can only traverse through the dungeon starting from the top of the mountain. I think the dungeon was designed that way. Another one of uh, Turum's little, little notes there. Um, okay, so we've got the second round key. We're going to open up this section here. There are going to be some more. There are going to be more enemies that we're going to have to face. So why don't we have a little sleep first of all? Okay, that will do. I just really wanted to get Starlight's energy back up before we did this. 
Oh, a couple of lizards. Another fireball ready. I know there's at least one more lizard. There it is there. Whew. Okay, let's see what else is around here. We've got a little bit more food as well. May as well give everybody this food because uh, why not? Let's go and get a bit of food there as well. Um, okay, so we've uh, uncovered the receptacle here. We can actually now go back to the uh, the room we were in before and grab the, the red gem. We don't need to go back that way any longer. So let's go and and grab the red gem here as well. Oh, that makes him overloaded. Okay, fair enough. Now, one of these changes the gates is that one. And the receptacle's that way, so we need to change that back again. Yeah, so what we need to do is open this door here. Uh, let's have a look at the writing first of all, the inner sanctum. Uh, let's go and shoot. And we are done. Uh, restore energy, I know that one already. That's going to open up these doors. There's another pressure plate on the end that will open up the uh, all of the walls around us. Let's get a How did that one hit me? I'm sure I got out of the way there. down. Beautiful. Let's have a look around this room. Uh, there's a couple of doors here on either side. A couple of the gates. This one has a button which I think I don't want to press right now. Uh, that's going to release another three Goromogs and make life very difficult. The Goromogs can actually open the doors by themselves. So um, as you saw, that one opened up this door. I don't know why. Uh, but there are a couple of crossbow bolts in here. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, let's go and press this button. I think it's in the other room. It will release three Goromorgs, as I said, and also um, start a teleporter up there. So let's just run. Oh God, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get hit here. Oh God, there's three of them. There's three of them. Gotta get out of here. I'm in trouble. Let's run. Just 
clearing up my inventory as we go. <laughs> good. Okay. Uh, now there's another two left, so I'm just going to grab the. See if I can draw him down. Oh, there's two of them. I do want to draw him down a little bit closer. If I can. If I just wait here for a second. Oh, there he is. Okay, one more. So the last one shouldn't be too difficult to take out. It's over there. Okay, and uh, the teleporter has been um, activated here as well. So let's go on through. Oh, we've got some more guys to deal with here. I can hear them. But uh, we do have the crystal. Let's go and heal up uh, before we do anything else. Nothing behind those banners. Let's just have a quick look around. Okay, so there's a door there. Uh, there's a door here which we can't open. And uh, we actually have the stairs down to level 11. But uh, we haven't finished exploring this level. And there is something else that we need before uh, we can continue on um, further down. Now, uh, there is a secret over here as well. There's the, the steel door. Um, did I grab the ruby? Yeah, we need the ruby to go inside here. Uh, there's a, uh, a throwing axe over there, and there's also the best bow in the, in the game, the croc, uh, the crookhorn longbow. Uh, this one has attack power 19, speed 11. It's better speed than the crossbow. Attack power 20, attack power 19, speed 9 versus speed 11. It's slightly lower, but the the crossbows actually do two damage each. Will have attack power two, whereas the Arrows only have one attack power, so I'm actually going to leave that behind. I don't really need the... Um, even though it is a very good longbow, I don't really need it uh, when I have the crossbow. So let's go and grab this, uh, the gem back again. Uh, this door we can't open from this side. We need to go all the way around. Ran into, <laughs> I ran into that. Oh god! All right, hello. This opens back up into this room where there, as you can see, a lot of a uh, lot of insects there. Uh, 
that. There's the long sword, which we don't really want. Did I miss something down here? Let me just have a quick look in this room. Ah, there's a, a cave nettle. Okay. Let's go and grab that. Uh, I could open this room from here, I guess. See if we can take out some of these creatures. Is that it? Just two? There's just two of them. I'm going to open up all of the other doors um, just so I can get good access. And this is the... Is it the last piece? Yeah, this is the last piece of this armor. Um, the Greaves of Valor. So I'm going to wear that instead. Now he's got the complete uh, Valor armor set, which is pretty amazing. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of this level here. Um, there's a gate. Let's open this. I can't remember where this goes. I guess I'm going to find out soon enough. More of these creatures. Okay. Of energy, she can't even use the um, the light. It's a bit dark at the moment. Let's just wait a second. I would like to sleep, but those Gormogs can actually open up these doors, so I am uh, don't really want to sleep right here. Give me some light at least. There we go. Before we continue, I may as well just do this. We've got seven. There we go. Oh, that didn't give her much, did it? She's got so much mana now, but there we go. Uh, a few more healing potions as well would be fantastic. Let's go for a healing potion over there. Another one over here. I hear that Goromor coming. I'm a little bit worried about it. Let's go for another one here. Go. I wouldn't mind using an antidote. Alright, I may as well use an antidote here. It seems to be lasting a fair while. There we go. Beautiful. He's overloaded now with all of these potions. There we go. Just move those around a bit. Um, okay, so we are good to continue. Let's take out these. I think there were two Goromogs. Some more stars here. Oh. Okay, um, I think I left a star down here, which is fine. There's a secret down that trap door, so I do want to go there in a second. Let's just have a quick look uh, this way. There's a gate. Uh, leading, I think, back to the... I think this leads back to the, um, the crystal. If we pull the... This here, this will actually take us back to the crystal. Now, there's another little note. Let's go and heal up. Grab the uh, the fire quarrels there as well, and let's read uh, another note from Turim. 
I've seen similar crystals in the temples of Nex, but compared to these huge formations, they were withered and lifeless. Those crystals certainly didn't have enough power in them to bring a fallen companion back to life. I wonder how many times I can still cheat death. Okay. And we also have the full helmet. I don't need that one. I've got one of those already. Okay, let's leave that for now and go and get this secret. Oh. Ah, frost bombs. Uh, some poison bombs as well. He's carrying a lot of bombs at the moment. So I might as well just get rid of some of this food. There we go. We're going to meet more ice lizards in a little while anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. What is this door? Ah, oh, that's the door um, where we get out from here. So I'm going to drop down, quickly save the, day, the game, because I think there are quite a few large crabs down there. Okay, so we've come a long way from the beginning when we had a lot of trouble killing these crabs, but now now we can take them out fairly quickly. There we go. Look at that. Right, let's go and grab another tar bead. Although Starlight did use up most of her mana doing that. Uh, there's another couple of uh, shurikens there. Uh, there's another three frost bombs. This is fantastic. Five frost bombs now. Beautiful, and that is a uh, milk reed. Let's go and grab that one. Uh, is there anything else down here? I think that's it. So let's head on. Let's head head back upstairs. Uh, and we have found a secret here: the shield of the elements. Uh, I may as well give this to Grimjaw. It has evasion plus ten, which is the same as the heavy shield, um, but it does have resistance against all of the elements there. So that's good. Let's go and head on out of here. Um, and of course he's overloaded. Uh, he's carrying too much food. Starlight, can you carry a bit of food? Don't really need these scrolls, but that's okay. I'll carry them until I need to throw them away. Okay, so once we stand on the pressure plate, that's going to open and a, a bolt is going to come shooting down. So let's just go and place something on the ground here. So we don't have to take that damage. Um, now there is a door here, we need two keys. And we don't have any keys at the moment, but we'll find those a little bit later. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, there are two doors here. There's two options here. We have the caverns, which is pretty tough. And we also have the shrine. Um, let's go into the shrine first of all. Okay, so this room appears to be empty, uh, but it's, it's actually not uh, not empty. Once we pick up the, the key uh, from this altar, all of the creatures are going to spawn, and there are a lot of them. We've got the, the Gormogs we need to deal with, 
And then we have the tentacles coming out of these these grates here as well. Uh, so the best thing to do is, is grab it and then make a run for the exit, uh, if I can. Oh god, alright. We don't actually need to kill all of the... Oh, there's another one. We don't actually need to kill all of the tentacles, but we will get extra experience for it, so we may as well... We may as well take them out. Tentacles aren't too much to worry about, so I'm not just gonna, just gonna stand here and, and tank. That's fine. There's none there, there's another one here. That makes it all worthwhile. Fantastic. All right, I think that's that seems to be it, and that is the the room clear. We've got uh, the first key. Let's go have a look at Billy. We can level him up a little bit. Is he wearing the spirit mirror pendant? He is. So he's getting um. Uh, experience points a little bit quicker. I really do want to give him volley, so we can actually do that right now. 31, 32. Um, now, do I want to get him up to Master Archer or give him something else? Evasion. Health plus 15. Dexterity. Assassination. I could give him the extra strength just so he can carry some more stuff. We've got two skill points remaining. I just give him the strength plus one actually. Or dexterity plus one we have there as well. Energy plus five. Dodge is going to give him resistance plus a little bit better evasion. Let's go for the strength plus one and then maybe I'll continue with the dodge a little bit later, but we'll see how we go. Uh, let's go and grab the spirit mirror pendant, give that back to Starlight, see if we can get her leveled up a little bit quicker here as well. And uh, next we do have the caverns. Now this is a little bit more tricky than the shrine, a little bit more difficult. There's lots of ogres in there and uh, a couple of secrets as well. So let's have a sleep first of all. So into the caverns we go. Already there is an ogre after us. Oops. Whew. Okay, it's Starlight. Whoa, Starlight gained a level as well. The little, uh, I think they're called little scavengers. Another ogre. Oh, that 
was a big hit there. Just a bit of bit of healing. Good. There we go. Second ogre down. Whew. Starlight has leveled up. Let's go and have a look. I do want to give her spellcraft up to. Well, I don't think we're going to get up to level 50, and the whole place is shaking. Spellcraft 35. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get her up to uh, Archmage, but uh, I can try. Lots of little scavengers around the place. There's probably more ogres around here as well. I do kind of want to save my spell power, but we should be able to take out both of these with a single fireball. There we go. That worked pretty well. More scavengers. Whew. Okay, let's have a look around these uh, these big caverns. Uh, it's, it's a pretty large area, so I'm sure there are more ogres around. May as well get someone to eat. Oh, there we go. You can have some some pitch root bread there. Oh, 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 another two ogres. That's one down. I do want to drop into this pit here for a secret a little bit later on, but it would be good just to clear out this area. I think there's a few ice lizards in there, which is good if we need a little bit of extra food. I hear an ogre running. Do you hear an ogre running? There's another ogre around here somewhere. There's a little scavenger. Uh, Billy's shooting two uh, crossbows bolts at the same time now, which is fantastic. Let's see how much damage he does. Not too much to a uh, ogre. Still not bad. Okay, and this one dropped a sack. Let's go and see what is inside. I think it's some herbal ingredients. Yeah, it is. Uh, there we go. We've got some cave nettles. We've got some tar beads as well. Another slime bell. Um, maybe I should put something in this sack. Let's go and have a look. Maybe the um, maybe we can take the uh, the gems and place them in there. There we go. That should work. Um, okay, so there are these levers here which are going to close the trap door down here uh, so we can get the second ornate key. I'm going to wait for that for the moment because uh, once we pick it up, more of those Goromorgs are going to spawn, making life a little bit difficult. So I may as well go and explore everything else first. Uh, and there are a couple of secrets here as well, so let's see if we can find them. Uh, scavengers in here, I don't need to worry too much about them. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Uh, inside we have another little note here. The placement of the pillars by the row of levers is most peculiar. I'll have to inspect them more closely. Uh, yeah, so the placement of the pillars does actually show you the um, uh, where the levers should be placed, whether up or down. Uh, but we'll have a look at that in a second. Where is this secret? Okay. 
And finally, we have a, a few more notes here. Let's go and have a look. Finally, I discovered a stash of supplies, but once I got in here, the wall closed shut behind me. I've been too confident in myself. I thought I knew how the rules of the dungeon worked. This is Turum. And he's been... He was trapped in this little alcove and couldn't escape. Who can carry his bones? You're going to have to carry his bones, uh, Calburn. We also have the best axe in the game, the Ancient Axe. This one does 36, uh, has attack power 36. Uh, it is a little bit slower than the Norja, but it's also a little bit lighter. Um, I think it's worth it's worth taking the, the Ancient Axe. I can't carry around any more than one axe. I don't have the, uh, the weight to spare. Phalanx, Helmet, Heavy Armor Protection plus six. Don't need that. Uh, don't really need the Hearthstone Bracelet either. 20% higher attack power. I could give that to... What have we got? We've got uh, Brace of Fortitude with Health Regen, plus one Strength. Um, yeah, both Calburn and Grimjaw have the Braces of Fortitude. Uh, Billy's got the Bracelet of Tyrion, Protection plus one, faster cooldown. Um, Starlight's got the Serpent Bracer, Protection plus two. I guess we could give her the... It doesn't really work for spells though, the... Um, the plus attack power, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, so that is that secret. There is another secret once we uh, drop down here. Uh, it's quite a large area, though, and we may get lost down there a little bit. Anyway, let's let's drop down and uh, see what happens. <coughs> Yeah, this is actually a fairly large area of level uh, 11, the tomb. But we're going to explore it now because it is part of the secret for level 10. I can't remember what's through this door. Probably something pretty bad. Nothing at the moment. Everything is too quiet. It's not going to stay that way forever, though. the other side of the gates. Yeah, we have um, an axe here, which we can't actually use. But once we do that, these creatures are going to be released. Oops. See if anybody needs some food. I may as well eat this. Oh, let's go and take a look at this axe. Oh, the axe is attack power 35, which is pretty good. Accuracy minus 5. But it does require the Mace's skill, so unfortunately I'm just going to leave that. <clears throat> I'll leave that one behind. Another crab. Okay, uh, is there anything else? There should be more of this dungeon to explore here. Yeah, this gate has opened now. I think that was closed before. Where's this go? Yeah, this one has opened, which leads back to the regular 
area of this dungeon, meaning that the non-secret area. Although there is a uh, a skull there for Grimjaw, the fifth skull, the last one for this game, uh, which increases his attack power now to 70, which is amazing. Uh, although we do have these slimes to fight through now, so let's see if we can take these slimes out quickly. Oh god. Another one coming from behind. Need to kill him as quickly as possible. I may as well heal up Grimjaw. Let's try and keep him alive. Go. There you go, Grimjaw. You should be feeling better now. Um, Calvin is leveled up as well. Let's have a quick look. Swords. Health plus five. Armors, maybe. Shield expert. Doubles evasion bonus of equipped shield. Yeah, let's do that. And athletics. No, let's not worry about that. Let's actually take out this uh, slime before he sneaks up on me. Whoop. That double arrows shot is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Now, finally, Billy has got a half-decent attack, which is great. More tar beads. Another beetle. Let's just give this to somebody to eat. There you go, so I don't have to carry it around. the stairs back up actually so let's clear out these slimes before we go back up Uh, fantastic. Right. Um, let's just have a look at this area here, make sure we're not missing anything, and then we're going to head back up. Aha! A slime bell. Fantastic. Now, Calburn has one more point, I think, of skill. No, two more skill points. Swords. We can get, get him a little bit of extra health. Otherwise, armors... Oh, health plus 15, 28 armors. I think that's good, so we'll go for that. He needs one more skill point to get that, which we should be able to do. Uh, more bombs. Poison bombs. Poison bombs. I don't really use them that much. They're really not that handy. Maybe I could get rid of the... I've got the fire quarrels. Let's get rid of the poison arrows for a start. The frost quarrels. I really need to use these. Um, is there anything else that we don't really want? All the treasure... Can somebody take this? No? Okay, let's just get rid of poison arrows. We'll get rid of four of these. They kind of come in handy sometimes uh, when you're stuck in a corner and need uh, to use poison uh, clouds. Somebody's overloaded. Uh, Grimjaw is still overloaded. Uh, what else can we get rid of? 
Okay, that seems to have worked. All right, let's head up back to the caverns and just finish off exploring that area. Okay, so now we need to use the levers so that we can get that uh, ornate key. Um, I may just sleep for a little bit first. Uh, actually, let's not bother sleeping. I'm just going to use the, uh, the blood drop blossom here. Get a little bit of extra energy. I'll make another one just in case I need it sometime in the future. There we go. Uh, so you can have a look at these pillars and see where the levers need to go. Uh, these two are down, so let's go down, down. This one's up, this one is down, and that one's up. So that should have closed the uh, trap door down here, which means we can pick up the key. Uh, as soon as we do that, some of these other creatures, the Gormorgs, are going to start spawning. This one right there. Grimjaw's leveled up now as well, which is fantastic. Now, I'm fairly certain there are more of those Goromogs around. So let's just get ready for that. I've got to watch out I don't fall down a pit as well. You can kind of see where they are because they, they do carry little lanterns around with them. This one's going to start... Okay, beautiful. Now, I did lose some of my arrows. I accidentally shot them sideways or something. Oh, this is a little note from Turim as well. I've been wandering in the same area for a long time. My provisions are running out, but I think this cavern is my best bet for finding a hidden room or some creatures I could hunt for food. Uh, there is a room that uh, we can get food right in there. There's some of the uh, ice lizards. Just want to make sure this area is clear. And I think I shot some of my crossbows sideways, didn't I? Not sure where they ended up. Oh, there they are. Sometimes when you spin and shoot at the same time, they end up going in weird, weird directions. Let's just make sure the Goromogs are actually clear. So I don't want to release those ice lizards and have to deal with the Goromog at the same time. Looks good. Okay, let's go back and uh, release these ice lizards. I should just be able to tank them, actually. Grimjaw has leveled up as well. Let's have a quick look here. Axes, I can get him the extra health. Armors, extra protection, plus shield expert. I think it's worth going for the... Protection plus shield expert. There we go. Shield is giving him, well, 20 evasion now, which is good. Uh, there are a couple of creatures in here. Let's go and take them out. actually run out of ammo. Let's use the fire there. There we go. Uh, we can have 
a bit of a bit of a feast on the ice lizard steaks. There we go. And uh, I don't think there's anything in here except for the, uh, the throwing axe. That's pretty much it. Um, so that's this area clear. We're going to head out of the caverns now. We finally picked up the second key. Uh, so that one was quite quite a long one, but that's okay. A throwing knife there we don't need. Let's let's leave these caverns. Let's leave them behind and get out of here. Oh my god. That is not what I wanted to see. Not at all. I was a little bit worried there's another one behind me there. There is another one around here as well. Okay. Oh god. And there's a tentacle. No wonder the Goromog couldn't reach me because there is a tentacle there. Uh, let's go take that out. Okay, any more around here? Wouldn't mind going back to the crystal. Actually, the crystal's not too far away, so let's go back to the crystal. I think it's just around the corner here. Any more Goromogs around the place? No. We do actually have the, the bones. I think we can... You hear a distant sigh of relief. The game has been saved. Uh, we have rescued Turum and uh, brought him back to life. Now, apparently you can use Turum as one of your characters in a future playthrough, so uh, in a future game. So maybe I'll try that out later, but we have um, brought Turum back to life. Uh, but And uh, we also have the other uh, two ornate keys here, so let's go and use those two. Uh, we're gonna open this, there's a teleporter plus a trap door. Now, don't exactly wanna go through the teleporter, first of all, because there is another secret down here. Press the button. Head on down, and uh, we're in this little room here. Uh, the teleporter takes us back. Did we miss anything there? No. Uh, if we pick anything up from the shelves, something's gonna fire from the statue, but we can turn it off by pressing a button somewhere. Ah, uh, there we go. That's going to close off the statue, so we can pick this up. Scaled cloak. Do I wanna change that for the huntsman's cloak? 30 plus one, no, I think I'm good. Uh, we also have a bag of goodies with uh, some food. Uh, let's just go and put all these notes in here. There we go. I can use them for pressure plates later on if I want. And it's just a little bit too heavy. There we go. I shouldn't run out of food, I hope not. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to change this back again um, to the teleporter. We're gonna head through to a secret room. Uh, I don't think anything happens if we pick up the prison key here. So let's go and pick up that. And we're gonna head on out of here. This is the room where we couldn't get into um, about halfway through the level. I'll show you on the map down here. But we can open it from this side. And uh, this takes us right back to the stairwell. So uh, that's the end of level 10. 10. We're going to finish off the game uh, in the next video, hopefully, and do level 11, 12, and 13. No, we're not done yet. Ugh. We are not, not done yet. Can't reach me there, buddy. Oh, he missed. He dodged the fireball. How dare you. Okay, done. 
Uh, so now we are done. <laughs> We're going to head down to uh, the next level. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon for The Legend of Grimrock.